Hey everybody, it's Gamerogi. We're back with Skies of Arcadia Legends. Last time we got to Esperanza and uh, talked to a lot of very depressed people. And apparently, Enrique's quote unquote uncle, Gregorio, is uh, going to fight us because he wants Enrique to come back home. But we don't want to give him Enrique. He's our friend, he's our companion. Partner in crime. Although they're doing more crimes than us, so I guess it's my partner in justice, more like it. Yeah. It's time to go fight Admiral Gregorio. It's going to be a tough battle. Give it everything you've got. Aye aye. Hey, you aren't actually going to fight against that armada, are you? Huh? You're planning to fight the Admiral Gregorio by yourselves? Yep, that's the plan. I don't doubt your abilities, but I used to be a Valuan soldier. I know what the Armada can do. Going up one against one of their admirals is crazy. Our ship is the best there is. We're faster than Gregorio's ship, and I think we can match his firepower. But even if you win, you'll never get through the Dark Rift. Like I said yesterday, our ship is the best there is. Our engines are more powerful than you think. And it might just be powerful enough to get us through the Dark Rift. Besides, ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to see what was beyond the edge of the world. That very edge is right in front of me. I have a chance to do what nobody has ever done before. I have a chance to make history today. If I said that I'm not scared, I'd be lying. But I won't let this opportunity pass me by. The chance to fulfill my childhood dreams lies right in front of me. You don't expect me to just give up, do you? Yeah, he kind of does. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose not. No matter what I say, you're not going to listen. The Dark Rift is a giant vortex. If you can get through one side, you'll reach the eye in the middle. It's rumored that the eye is calm. There are other calm pockets along the edges of the Dark Rift. If you find one of the pockets, you may have half a chance. Uh-huh. I see. Thank you. I'll come back here when I'm done, I promise. That was completely unnecessary. Jibber jabber. Drunkard! He's still holding on to that bottle, man. <laughs> Kid, you're just like me when I was your age. A dang fool. Admiral, the Delphinus is approaching. He's moving into attack position. My orders were to bring him back alive, or kill him if he refuses. We must do everything in our power to take him alive. All ships prepare to attack. The Delphinus is the Armada's most powerful ship. Our adversaries may be young, but we can't underestimate them. Vice, the Armada is getting ready to attack us. This is it! Everyone, man your battle stations. We've got to get past the Admiral Gregorio's defenses. We'll defeat him, then we'll then we'll get through the Dark Rift to reach Yafutoma. Let's go! Aye aye! Alright. Air Pirate Scum, hand over the Prince. And Prince over! <laughs> You'll pay for kidnapping and brainwashing him. I didn't brainwash him. He came of his own volition. Jeez. Okay, so... Uh... Actually, I'm not gonna attack. We're just gonna use our... big old cannon. And see, we have crew commands in ship battles now. But I'm not gonna use those either. <laughs> Basically, I'm just gonna focus this whole turn. And uh, this whole ship battle thingy is actually three ship battles in one, so... Yeah. It's gonna draw out a little bit, but the first two are a little bit easier than Gregorio himself. In fact, this one I think we can take out with just one shot of our Moonstone Cannon, actually. Fragmentation! More like expect great expectations. More like 
appropriate expectations. That doesn't even make sense. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I just wanted to drop the name of a book, that's all. Just drop it like it's hot. Stop doing damage to me. You know I gotta go to the next fight with this damage. Thank you very much. Whoa. I was like, he almost collided with me. <laughs> Cut it out. Okay, and then we use a deluxe kit rot chair. And then it doesn't really matter. I'm pretty sure he'll just die. Bring it on, you mini ship of death. All of Gregoria's fleet looks similar. It's really hard to tell their ships apart. <laughs> Zap. God, that looks so powerful. <laughs> and you're dead. Called it. Man, 34,000 almost. Oh, God. That's just delicious. Ooh, we're getting cheered on. Yeah, go. Turn. No, not that way. You idiots! What are you doing? You're supposed to fire all your cannons right there! Yeah, get them! Hey, they're not that bad! Huh? Whoa! <laughs> oh, incoming! <laughs> he doesn't even care. We still need to get past the next line of shifts. Still got a long way to go. Bonk here down. <laughs> that was funny. Oh boy. Okay, this one, yeah, this one's definitely bigger than the last one. Battleship. You'll never defeat the second fleet of the Imperial Armada. I think I will, actually. So, wow, look at these turns. Nothing but greens. <laughs> I guess this is just a attack whenever we want to kind of thing. Oops. Uh, what am I? I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> here, we'll just attack on this turn. Focus, focus. He's probably gonna do damage to me, Deluxe Kid. Yeah, I think this fight is just a slow whittle down, unfortunately, until we get our Moonstone Cannon. Dang. Better not play defensive this whole time, that's going to be really annoying. <laughs> Taking aim? Don't do it! Yeah, this is the one ship battle of the three that I don't remember all that well. Probably because it doesn't have anything particularly different. <laughs> Other than them doing lots of damage. Better cut that out there, buddy. Ship battles look a lot more epic when we have this. Oh, okay. Looks like we'll get our chance next time. So we just have to make sure we have enough SP for that. Probably not too bad. I'm just gonna do the same thing. I don't know what else to do. Oh! Actually, yes I do. Let's use... Uh... What am I looking for here? Apple wax? Yep, that's the one. 
focus, and heal again. Whoa, that did a lot more damage that time. <laughs> that's kind of weird. Oh, he was defending last time. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I gotta say, Gregoria's ship fleet thingy jiggers, they look pretty cool. Definitely look like they could ram us headlong. <laughs> That's like, oh my god, it's like the worst idea ever. I mean, I can understand, like in a game like Twisted Metal, ramming cars and stuff, but ramming airships? That just sounds like a terrible idea. You just go out of whack and end up running into something or just falling. Whoa. Ah, uh, let's close in and look for an opening. Sweet. Good choice. <laughs> Alright, you're gonna die. And I'm going to... do some other stuff here. Just to make sure. You're gonna get a Moonstone Cannon right in the rear. In the rear with the gear. Excuse me, uh, my ship has to sneeze. <laughs> Sorry. My boogers are kind of plasmatic. Plasmatic. Wow. Okay. Uh, that took him out. Shredder bomb and something I didn't read. I probably should have read that. Oh my god. <laughs> the flag. Oh my god. Alright, we're doing great. Gregorio's ship dead ahead. He'll be in range shortly. Uncle Gregorio, I can't let you take me back. Alright, full speed ahead. It's now or never. That flag is so funny looking. <laughs> oh, it just spruces up every cutscene. It does it. It does what it does. Ooh, Gregorio's flagship. Prince Enrique, please forgive me for taking up arms against you, but you leave me no choice. I will not allow you to escape. You will not get past the Ariga. Oh, Ar Ariga? Yeah. I think I will, actually. You don't believe me, but it's true. Um. Okay, focus here. Deluxe kit here, and use this or oh, I thought I'd have more spirit. Oh well. <laughs> there is one gimmick about Gregorio's fight that I remember, but it's not gonna really matter until he has a real a red turn. So, not to worry. Mustn't fret the small stuff, dude. That. That town is right there. I mean, no wonder they're getting stray shots. <laughs> oh my god. Pew! Blackwood? Huh. I don't know, Gregoria is kind of hard to figure out. He likes to do delayed attacks and then defend a lot, I guess. So it's just a pain in the butt to take him out. <laughs> As I stated before, Gregorio has been nicknamed Ironwall by his peers. He's the Armada's best defense tactician. I have heard that he sets up a tight defense and waits for his enemy to make even the smallest mistake. It is then that he attacks. Oh boy. Not to worry. Um. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna keep focusing. 
and we'll defend right there. I just want to have enough SP so I can uh, hit him with a Moonstone Cannon when I get the chance. Just like always, you know, same old strategy. Stratego. The fans on this ship are really crazy. Like, a bunch of them just all stacked together like that. I'm sure there's a point when that becomes less e efficient. <laughs> oh, no, no. Wow, oh, well, that was a decent hit. Whoa. I approve of that damage. We hit him, like, right between evasive things. <laughs> oh my god. How convenient. Blast me. Do it. Do it. Oh, I blocked. You're a sucker. Okay, so here we go. See those two turns <laughs> next? Uh, yeah. Basically, what we need to do is we, uh, on a turn with a red, we have to be under the effects of a speed buff. So, that's not too hard. And then we'll get all those opportunities to fire the Moonstone Cannon and such, so. Uh, but if we do not, uh, speed up, then he's gonna ram us, and then you can see the next turn is pretty rough. So, yeah. Um... You know, I'm just gonna buff myself. I don't need to attack this turn, really. Apple Wax! Restore spirit completely. Speed Wax! We got that from the first, um... First guy we took out, I think, didn't we? <laughs> For one turn? Ugh, I might as well just use the spell. If somebody knows it, boy. Fina? Do you know, um, what I'm looking for? No? Is Vice the only one that knows it? Or does nobody know it? If that's the case, I'm in a pickle, I think. Oh, wait. I'm not in a pickle. What am I doing? Ugh. Okay. I'm getting confused now. What, what was I doing before? I was using Apple Wax. Okay. Can I just use... I'm just going to use Speed Wax. I only have one. That's really unfortunate. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, yeah. Speed buff only lasts for one turn? That's kind of weird. No oh, man, I really should have learned that. <laughs> I, I haven't changed my weapon color since uh, we started making discoveries. So it's been a while. Oh boy. <laughs> well, hopefully we can do enough damage next turn that it won't really matter and we can kill him before he uses another uh, ram attempt. <laughs> hopefully. So yeah, they just line themselves up like they're gonna play chicken. And that's how the ram thing comes on. Like, why would you fly right at that thing? Ooh, too fast for you. Just barely missed. Oh my god. Woo. Yeah, we dodged his ram attack. Now he's gonna pay. The enemy vessel's wide open. Let him have advice. Oh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> so I think this whole turn he's basically gonna recovering from that miss or something. I don't really know. Um, I'm just gonna spend all my SP. Oh boy. You know what? Let's actually have her heal on the last turn. Have him advance cannon right there. 
Oh boy, this is gonna be this is gonna be a lot of damage. engine thing on the bottom. You see that? It's really cool. <laughs> oh my god. They make it look so powerful like the whole ship is shaking around. Oh yeah, that wow, okay. That took him out in one blow. I didn't actually think that would happen, but <laughs> there you go. Captain Stripe, heavy armor deck, and a twelve inch cannon. Sweet. That's a lot of good stuff right there. Sorry, Uncle. <laughs> Gregorio. I always thought that if we were ever in battle together, that we'd be on the same side. Prince Enrique, is there anything I can do to make you reconsider? No. I've made up my mind. I'm not going back to Valua. I know that you've noticed a change in the Empire as well. They're headed down a dark path. Trying to rule the world with an iron fist, it will make it will be Valua's downfall. This world, this sky, is not Valua's to rule. It belongs to the people. And to the and to right the wrongs that Valua has committed, I have decided to travel with Vice and his companions. Tell that to my mother. And also that I pray every day for her good health. I don't. <laughs> this is goodbye. I must go. Be well. Farewell, young prince. Gregorio. Uh, join me. Join me. Oh. He, I mean, he looks like a nice guy. Those kids are great! They just took out the Arbato with one ship! Ha ha ha! They make me feel like sailing again! Woo! Yeah! Optimism ho! Vice, you put on quite a show. If you do make it back from the Dark Rift, I hope you come back here and take me with you. I can't believe I'm saying this. You hear me, kid? You better make it back! Yeah, I'll make it back, man. I mean, I'm the main character of the story. Uh, yeah, you know. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> we just defeated Gregorio, and we can head into the Dark Rift. But, let's see here. Before that happens, uh, za, 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 za. I'm actually going to head back to Sailor's Island again and turn in our two moonfish. And then, uh, yeah. We'll do that really quick, actually. I'll just cut to when we're there. See you then. <laughs> okay, we got some ghost mail. Cool. And a sword of Dacket. Whoa, that sounds cool. <laughs> Alright, that's it. So hopefully those are pretty good upgrades. It's not that far of a detour, really, now that we can fly through sky rifts, but... Uh, might as well get this stuff before we move on, eh? Sword Dacken. Whoa, that's not even as good as the one I bought from the vendor. That's unfortunate. And Ghost Mail. Ooh. Well, Aka can, can, can use it. And it increases defense. Yep, that's actually a little bit of an upgrade. That's pretty good. Okay. Alright guys, well, that's it. I'm gonna end this part here. Then next time, we're going to try our hand at flying through the Dark Rift. Alright, see you guys next time.